Hey, what's up guys? It's Rachel. I am back today with another unboxing video um, for my reseller business. So if you're new here joining me today, uh, I am a part-time reseller on sites like eBay, Poshmark, and Mercari. And I source items both in the thrift stores and online to flip for a profit in my online stores. Now this particular box comes from Boutique by the Box, which has become one of my favorite liquidation companies to order from. Um, this should be, and I say should be because I haven't actually opened the box yet, but I'm expecting that this is shoes. So I've never ordered shoes from them before. I've been very happy with um, most of the other boxes that I have um, purchased from them, but I've never ordered shoes. So I've done a few other unboxings on this company, Boutique by the Box. If you wanna check out my other videos, feel free to see what else I've received from them. But this is the first uh, shoes. So let me go ahead and open this up. So I'm kind of doing a big push on inventory right now. I'm getting married pretty soon here and I want to take as much advantage of Q3 and Q4 as I possibly can um, because this is typically my busiest time of year. Uh, I, I haven't been able to source quite as much in the thrift stores just with all the everything I've had going on. Um, so these boxes tend to be a pretty good option as a way to source and just get it sent right right to me. So I'll go over the the details of the box once I get it open here and I get the receipt if there's one in here. But I am expecting everything in here to be new. The cost per item is a little bit higher than if I were to go to the thrift store, but I didn't have to spend any time looking for this stuff. And I know that everything in here should be new or unworn. So let's take a look. Okay, so I can immediately see um, there's some boots in here and there are some boxes which is good anything new with box is better than new without box um winter is great um i was hoping to get some winter stuff because um that's the season we're moving into sometimes buying liquidation at the end of summer you end up getting summer items because they're trying to you know rotate their stock and get themselves ready for the next season also so i'm happy already to see boots but let's dive in and see exactly what we've got here. I don't see a receipt. Um, so if there's not one by the time I get to the bottom, I'll put over here the, the actual specs on this box, um, the how much it was and my cost per item and everything. So these are, trying to find a brand. There's no brand on the outside. So these are the brand JC, and I'm not gonna like undo the boots to show you because they're all zipped up. Um, but these are new. They are a pair of like uh, faux suede. I, I don't think that these are real suede, um, but they are new. This brand JC, um, I'll see if I can find some comps on these, but I don't, I want to say maybe it's like a Macy's house brand or a Nordstrom house brand. I'm not 100% sure, so stay tuned. Next up we have, uh, these are some black, are these leather? Yeah, these are leather. The brand is Essex Lane, which I have not heard of, but the fact that they are brand new, real leather, and a basic, very basic, very classic style. Um, that's pretty good. So I'll have to research and see what exactly these are and how much they're worth. I'm not sure, um, but I'm willing to learn. So that's good. These, oh, these are fun. Oh, they're kind of like wrapped together. Um, so I can tell you right now, these, These are definitely not new. Um, I was hoping this, well, I think this box should be all new, um, but I'm saying that for a couple reasons. Um, number one, the toes here are pretty badly scuffed, um, which could, could happen to new merchandise. This is liquidation, so it is, you know, there is the potential for it to get damaged somewhere along the way. 
um, but I really don't think these are new because you can see clear signs of wear on the um, on the heel here. Like these are like peeling, like these are worn. These are kind of definitely worn down. So that's kind of a bummer. Uh, let me see what these are. The brand is Mucklux, um, which I think is an okay brand. Nothing really spectacular, but uh, yeah, that's a little disappointing. But okay, let's see what else is in here. Hopefully the rest is, is um, will make up for it. These are totes. And these, I'm gonna go ahead and say, these are these are probably brand new. Um, so totes are, you know, classic like weatherproof type boots. Um, yeah, I'm not sure what the comps are off top of my head would be, um, but they are new. So hopefully, hopefully they're decent. These are eight and a half wide. All right, next up, these are some heeled lace up. Um, knee-high boots. The brand on these again is JC. These are brand new as well. Let me get both of these here. This way. So they kind of have this faux lace up and then they zip on the inside. I wonder if these are genuine leather. I'm guessing probably not. But yeah, these are not... Uh, not genuine leather, they're a size seven. These are fun. Um, another pair of knee-high boots. These have a cool zipper detail. These are G by Guess. So I think this is a, maybe a Nordstrom Rack type deal. Yeah, these are also not real leather. Um, they are size nine. All right, these are um, like a suede platform booty. I just sold a pair like this that were Steve Madden. I don't think these are Steve Madden though. No, these are Chinese laundry. Um, I don't pick up Chinese laundry normally at the thrift store, but these are, these are new and uh, they are in season, I would say knee highs so like i have to step back to show them to you oh these are um these still have the nordstrom rack tag on the bottom these are a size six the original price is 244. let's see what brand they are there's a logo here but i don't uh, i don't recognize what the logo is just looking at it Oh, these are Sam Edelman. Yeah, I probably should have known that. That logo right there is Sam Edelman. So these are probably real leather by the price. Uh, I'm sure it's on here somewhere. So these are decent, I would say. Um, they are new and they are in season, in style. These are Dirty Laundry is the brand. These are more like a Doc Martens style, but not really Doc Martens. Um, they've got little studs along the edges. That's pretty cool. Not a brand I'm familiar with. These are like a suede um, booty. These are also a man-made upper. Can't really tell what the brand is. Let me see. Unisa is the brand. They're size eight medium. That's everything that is in the just loose. Everything else is new in box. So I want to say this is 10 pair of new without box, except the one that's clearly not new. Um, and then also um, five pair that are new in box. So let's see. This is the brand Mia, and these are a chunky booty. Chunky booty, <laughs> size nine and a half. 
The style is called Jody Luggage. The box is a little beat up, but it has a box nonetheless. These are mix number six. New with box, size seven. Those are kind of hot. These, the brand is Rustic Asphalt. Whoa. Okay, these are also clearly not new. They're in pretty fantastic condition. You can definitely smell the leather still, but I'm betting that these were a customer return. They are definitely not new. Um, and I think these are men's. Size, size 46, that's definitely men's. These are the brand Kelly and Katie. These are new. Black suede booty. Again, not usually a brand I pick up. You know, hopefully it's good um, because it's new with tag. Two more pair here. These are Chinese laundry. New in box. These are more of like a mid-calf booty. Suede. These do look new. You know, now I gotta check. Those look new. One more. Let's hope we save the best for last, guys. The brand is Me Too. Another pair of suede booties. Maybe suede, maybe not. Yeah, these are leather, so that's good. I always will do a 90 day update on any box that I open on here on my channel. Um, basically, you know, it's one thing to give an opinion of a liquidation box when you first open it up and you say, I think it's good or I think it's, you know, I'll be able to make this much money, but I don't know. I, I really do not know because I haven't listed this stuff and I haven't sold it. And a lot of this stuff, I, I'm going to be honest, is not, um, it's not brands that I normally would source. So it's really hard to say. So what I'm going to do is list everything and then I will record another video 90 days later to let you guys know um, just what happened. How did this stuff sell? what kind of profits came out of this box. And then I can give you a better assessment of whether or not this was a good box, uh, a worthwhile box worth investing in. Um, just at first glance, I'm gonna say it's an okay box. Um, like I said, the cost, I, I think it was 15, um, I, I will post it. I think it was 15 pair of shoes for $150. Um, there's definitely 15 pair here. Um, some are new in box, some are not. Um, so I don't know. Typically with a liquidation box, I wanna at least double my money. I think that style wise, this is all in season stuff. So that's good. I have a much better chance of flipping it quickly because it is, you know, styles that people are looking for right now. Um, Brand wise, I don't know. Um, a lot of these are not brands I normally would pick up thrifting, so I'm not sure. Um, and the, the price per item, you know, the cost is a little bit high for what I'd be comfortable with with brands like this. But you never know. You really never know until you get everything listed. So um, definitely give this video a like. I would really appreciate it. It helps my al algorithm and uh, it helps more people, you know, see my my video. Um, let me know what you think. Have you sold any of these brands before and have you had success with them? Um, what do you think of this box? Um, I would definitely love to hear and um, certainly subscribe if you want to see my updates as well as other reseller content. I do unboxings anytime I order a box no matter where it's from and um, yeah so I will hopefully catch you guys in the next one. Thank you again for joining me. Hey guys, so welcome to part two of this video. 
Um, so when I originally opened the box and you guys know, I opened them right here with you. So it's, you know, a, a real time unboxing. I didn't look in the box before I opened it up. And you'll see at the end, I was a little confused because there were 16 pair of shoes in the box. Um, and I am not the best at remembering to look at what I actually ordered before I open the box. I just turn on the camera and open the box because I get so excited. So I was a little confused. I'm like, okay, was it 15 and they gave me one extra or was it 20 and I'm missing some? Well, it did actually turn out that the order should have been for 20 pair of shoes for $300, so $15 per pair of shoes. And I only had 16 pairs of shoes, so I was missing four pairs of shoes. Um, so I reached out to them, emailed them, let them know what happened, and they were super attentive. Um, you know, I think mistakes happen, you know, it, everybody makes mistakes, and um, it's not so much about the mistake you make, but how you make it right, so, um, Anyway, they sent me four more pair of shoes or what I expect to be four more pair of shoes. And um, it got here in like two days. So Boutique by the Box, thank you um, for making it right. And I wanted to add it into this video to, you know, let you guys know that they did send the rest of the shoes. So again, I haven't opened this either. We're going to check out and see what they sent me as the four pair replacement. It's just a piece of cardboard. Okay. So these are um, some like loafers, I guess, or like, you know, just some kind of work looking heels. These are brand new um, in the box. The brand is Life Stride. Um, okay, so it looks like there's two pair in the box and two pair not in the box, which is fine by me. Uh, these are Unisa. And actually, there was another pair of these in the first box, so this is actually a duplicate which I'm kind of okay with because I think it's a different size and then I can just copy the description and the, the stock photos and stuff. Um, so that's pretty cool. And then here's another pair of black boots. I have so many pair of black boots now listed, guys. Uh, these are the rock set, but I don't know. There's no brand like on the bottom. Let's see. Madden Girl. Okay, this is the first pair of uh, Madden Girl I've seen. All right, y'all. So I just ran out of storage space. Uh, sorry, the video got cut, but I will just end by saying, um, you know, I'm going to be interested to see with this box how it actually does. You know, at first I was like, okay, the cost of goods is way high for what I got. But when I actually started looking up these styles and stuff to like, you know, list them, um, the comps were pretty good on a lot of them and the retail value on some of these were a lot higher than I expected. So I really am going to be interested to see what comes out of this. Will I make my money back? Will I profit? Um, very different than what I expected. So if you guys want to see the 90 day recap, make sure to subscribe. I do 90 day recaps on all the boxes that I unbox on this channel. Um, again, thank you for Boutique by the Box for sending me the additional shoes. I really appreciate you making it right. If you guys are interested in a Boutique by the Box liquidation box, there is a code down below in my um, description here for 15% off your order and it does work on most of the boxes. If it's already on sale or if it's like a super special box, the code might not work, but they did assure me that it will work on just about everything else. So feel free to give it a try. Like I said, I've, um, I've dealt with this company a few times now, several times, and they've been a pleasure to work with. So definitely if you're interested in giving it a shot, uh, 
check it out below 15% off. And I will catch you guys in the next one.